In this video, I'll explain how to find the null space of a matrix A. The null space of a matrix A is denoted as N of A. So this is the matrix which is given to us. A equal to minus 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, uh, basically the null space is found as the set of vectors which form a homogeneous solution to AX bar equal to 0 bar where A is the matrix which is given to us x bar is the x vector and 0 bar is the 0 vector. So I write uh, this matrix A in the form of this homogeneous equation. So I have written minus 1, 3, 2 and a line here showing 0 which belongs to the 0 vector 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 or you can write this matrix as for clarity minus 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 which is the matrix as well into x bar. So I write this as x1, x2, x3 x vector and 0 0 0 which is the 0 vector so first we find the reduced row echelon form so to find the reduced row echelon form very quickly we do r3 equal to r3 minus r2 and r2 equal to r2 plus r1 and uh, once you do that uh, you get the matrix like this and then in the next uh, uh, step we perform r1 equal to minus r1 r2 equal to r2 by 4 and then r1 equal to r1 plus 3 r2 and once you do that, you will get the matrix into a reduced echelon form. Now this uh, reduced echelon form in the main diagonal, you have these values and below the main diagonal, the uh, contents are 0. So now you take this matrix and write it in the form of equation. So you have x1, this is 0, minus 0.5 x3 equal to 0. From this line, x2 plus 0.5 x3 equal to 0 there is no equation here now from here I can write x1 equal to 0.5 x3 x2 equal to minus 0.5 x3 and there is nothing for x3 therefore x3 is just by itself it's an independent variable so now x1 x2 x3 on the left hand side correspond to this matrix so therefore I write this matrix x1 x2 x3 equal to now I write this in the matrix form on the right hand side 0.5 x3 minus 0.5 x3 and x3 now here we must understand that x3 can be anything it is only for our understanding we have written it as x3 so therefore now I just uh, write this as uh, a much better form by multiplying it with 2 so therefore this becomes 1 into x3 minus 1 into x3 and 2 into x3 therefore the null space of A just turns out to be x3 minus x3 and 2 x3 or we can just take the constants here and just write as 1, minus 1 and 2 which will just become the basis of this matrix A. Now more on this basis will be uh, covered in uh, my upcoming videos but this is how we find the null space of any matrix A.